Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Sands. This is once again a free game. The screenshots looked pretty interesting but I didn't really look into it other than that. As with any game that I play I don't really look into it too much. Let's lower the master volume just a little bit. There we go. Ah, oh, just the usual stuff. I will change that to E because I have a preference for E as my interact button. And let's go right into it. So I guess we're just going along Sands the tracks. have no pity. The inhabitants of Zeta 115 often say that. The same they instill in their children from an early age. And this is what they whisper about, sitting in their dilapidated shacks, waiting for the impending storm. Many believe the planets are living beings and compare them to people and just like a person living out their years, life is slowly going out of Zeta. From the once lush green planet, now what remains are a couple of barely habitable poles. But due to severe sandstorms, even the last inhabitants will soon be forced to leave these dead lands in search of a better future. Just like the human circulatory system, Zeta also has its blood arteries and veins, hundreds, if not thousands, of railway lines connecting the poles. Daily trains loaded with the necessary things leave the industrial north for a spaceport in the south, bringing water and other supplies to the people of the north on the way back. However, there are extra cargoes for special customers who prefer to keep their business to themselves. Such freights are carried along some abandoned routes, away from prying eyes. People who are engaged in this work are called striders. These are fearless fellows, even desperate ones. Risking their lives, they alone carry particularly precious cargoes, fighting thirst, fatigue, and sands. So the kind of that all sounds very interesting. <laughs> yes, I'm going over there. Uh, let's see if I need to grab anything from here first. Yep, water. Well, I'm guessing that's water. Otherwise, it's some sort of fuel. So another planet, huh? Water so pumps are a great yeah. fortune for a traveler crossing the desert. The transporters extract the last remnants of waters hidden in the depths of Zeta, biting into the rock-hard ground. Once used by railroad builders, these pumps now save the lives of striders, allowing them to quench their terrible thirst and replenish supplies. It's empty yet, so no strider can live. Oh, I could have gotten a little bit closer. I do like the music. It's very nice. Before I hop on, I gotta say, there seems to be a trend with these free games that they're very story heavy or story driven or they focus more on the gameplay uh, then I'm struggling to find a blend of the two and when I say story driven I mean like 
One of the first games I played, that being Blameless and Lucid Dream, were both very story heavy and didn't really have a focus on the gameplay. They weren't trying to be too much, they were very simple pieces. And I'll put that this in that same sort of category so far. And then you got gameplay focused games like Dirty Room and Dirty Blood, which focus more on the actual like mechanics of the game and how it plays. They're more experimental, first time game sort of things. I'm just waiting for some sort of monster to pop out. were one of the peoples who inhabited Zeta before the Confederacy got there. Once known for their technology, the only thing remaining of their former glory today is a few smuggling slave trading tribes. Traveling primarily by airships and having no access to the orbiting satellite system, the Catanians have nevertheless achieved considerable success in predicting sandstorms, which they report via bugle call. Anyone who hears this sound should immediately seek shelter and hide from the severe sandy wind threatening to smash everything in its path in a matter of minutes. A storm is coming. Is there a storm? Oh, fuck yeah, storm's coming. Uh, light, light, light. Guess the light. This is very interesting. Ah, oh, why did I crouch? I'm in a sprint. Eh, keep jumping. B hop, B hop. I got this. Keep on the jumping. Couldn't have been just a little bit close to the tracks, could they? Cave, cave, cave. My area to hide. Well, waiting for that to pass was something. I guess I just go back this way. I'll reach the track eventually. Ah, that's one of the lights. And I think I see the track with the car right off there, about just above center. Don't know how it is on brightness, but this is rather bright for me. Then again, I suppose it's meant to be bright, because it would be very bright in a desert, wouldn't it? I've never been to one, so I don't know. Yeah, I think you can just about see the car just over the hill. Just over the bottom of the hill. I have not taken my meds today, so I'm very sniffy, so this editing process is going to be a bitch. Not just have I not taken my meds, I've been drinking a lot of Fanta. Which, even if it doesn't have orange, normally has aspartame in it, which makes me very hyper. That was quite the run. Probably could have found an easier way to mark all that stuff though, to be honest. Like that actually wasn't too far a run, just put lights in a straight line. Because that last light was a bit, uh, eh, it was a bit difficult to find. The sands don't forgive mistakes. Is it the Strider's fault? 
Or is it all because the mount broke at the wrong time? Well, it no longer matters. Soon, everything will be swept away by a deadly wind, leaving only a flat, sandy surface behind it. And that would mean certain death for a strider, because surviving in such conditions is a true wonder. Well, the supplies got fucking lost. Oh, city! I'm not going there, am I? Oh no, it's curving. I think it curves. On the railroad. I don't know that song. I was trying to think of a railroad based song to sing, but I think I might just fast forward. Or you guys can listen to the ch chunk ch chunk. Once upon a time, the Catanians built huge cities here, but under the pressure of the Confederacy, they were forced to leave these lands. Even today, one can find some giant mechanism left by the Catanians in this area. However, no one, not even their descendants, can explain the purpose of those tools. But one thing is sure, the Catanians managed to keep balance between technological development and comfortable life on the planet. So they were able to be eco-friendly. But the planet just died on its own at some point. I'm gonna try and guess the twist. At some point it's gonna be that this is Earth or something, or it's gonna be an analogy to Earth. Oh, it's a tunnel. Or is that a stop? This thing's rusty. I'm gonna. I need my tetanus jab. If I have to live through this, you have to, because I feel it's a main part of the game. over here. Fucking Golden Gate looking ass. Now I figure out where that cog goes. Probably somewhere over here. Okay, I also need a wheel by the looks of it for that other side over there. There's a wheel on that side. So, let's. Maybe I'll give a hint if. No. No, I'll run over there and see what that is. Is this a mech? No, it is destroyed robotics though. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, I would guess some sort of crane because that looks like a thing that would pick up containers. Oh yeah, because everything would have probably been buried under the sand at this point, wouldn't it? Oh well, that's quite disheartening. It's quite disheartening to play this. Um, I could just run along the tracks if I wanted. I wonder if that's like an option. Hmm.
not, I got a cog from somewhere, which has to go in a location. Hey, you got a cog there? There we go. Now, do I go over here and turn it on? Sun's not moving. Blow some air drums out with that. And fearless, yeah, because I ran across something that was destroyed. And I guess time to uh, fast forward, but I won't do a times four. Because I still want you to get an idea of how slow this is going, because it's really not going fast. Oh. Water towers? Oh, and the sun's moved! Cool! That's always a nice touch to see that, but then again... They haven't got to add much, have they? Before the days of the Confederacy, over 80% of the Zeta surface was an ocean. Time doesn't stop even for the planet, and it has changed its face completely. After the discovery of Kelvin, the main component of spaceship fuel, the development of Zeta became a number one task for the Confederacy. Negotiations with the local government failed, and a military invasion of Zeta began. The Confederacy killed everyone who disagreed with the new policy and covered the planet's surface with a network of Kelvin extracting platforms. This depleted groundwater resources turned Zeta into a lifeless desert. Oh, this is such a slow process. Oh. It's not too bad, it's just like, well, four minutes from there, no, two minutes from there to here. No, wait, three minutes. <laughs> just saw this at the three minute mark. Best fucking open. But. I think stopping the door. That's always fun. That's always fun. Can't walk. Oh, I have to hold it. Oh, okay. Hey, big stone walls. Stick. God, that's slow, and it closes on me. Oh. Okay. I have to open it a bit more because it's closing, and I don't know how slowly it closes or how quickly it closes. So. I got this. Hey! Fuck you, door! Wow, that closes quickly.
but only one door closes. Let's see if there's anything to close up that. Oh. A fuse thingy. Into the hole. Where else do you stick a fuse? Well, there is none. Oh, I get it. Now I open and hit the door. Or well, hit the thing. Oh fuck, I need two fuses this time. Oh, I see one there. There's probably one in amongst that stuff. Wait. Can I grab it from here? Could, couldn't I? Haha, <laughs> big brain. Normally I'm smooth brain, but that was a uh, that was pretty fucking big brain. Okay, all the way. Uh, this game is very loud, but at least it's easier to lower volume than it is to increase it. Now I have to go back and get those two. So that one's more open, so if I get this one it'll start closing. I am feeling mighty big brain today. Okay, I made it outside those gates. I used the two rods to keep these doors open, and I kind of locked myself out now. So, I'm just checking over here to see if there are extra rods. Yes, there are. But yeah, I still made the mistake anyway of locking myself out, so I'll have to restart from checkpoint. So... Yeah, that's going to be fun. It's not like I died twice while experimenting with stuff anyway. Nothing there. Uh, if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be here. Yeah, I think that's it. Should be around here. Huh. Maybe I only get the one. Something happened. Uh, I got through. I got through. I got through. I kept trying the same thing over and over. I've lost my trolley now. Um, I've lost my car. Please, please, slow down. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I've lost my train. Well, looks like I'm running the rest of the game. For a strider, a rail car is more than just a vehicle. It is a vital tool to survive in the desert, and for some, a true friend and ally. But sometimes, you must leave it too, to continue your journey through the endless desert, to stay alive. So I'm running anyway. I feel like that's probably my destination, so I'll follow the cart tracks. Oh, well, fast forward time. Oh, this is kinda... 
I've barely got on anywhere. And I feel my destination's right there, so like, it won't let me sprint either. Come on, bud. You got this. I'm fine, I'm fine, I've got this. I've got this. I'll be there soon. It's gonna take a bit. Come on, Strider, you got this. You'll be okay. You're okay, you got this. Come on, bud. At least they didn't collapse on the tracks. Someone saved me. Threw me in some kind of cell. This is where I realised that I lowered the brightness on my laptop to avoid overheating. That is a train. But I don't see where I'm gonna go, so I guess just watch out the window. I mm, heard a bonk, don't know what it was. Was that a seam in the world? Oh god, don't say this is a fucking loop where I've got to actually do something in the time. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. Fuck you, buddies! Keep that pipe on me, by the way. Not like I'll need some sort of weapon or anything, you know? The you fuckers! Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've waited for, that's what it's about. Woo, yeah! Under different circumstances, one could say that escaping the paws of the slave traders was a real stroke of luck. But don't forget that you are in the middle of a desert. A storm, storm is coming. Is coming. That's not good. Oh, the lights time. currently walking as fast as I can, and I feel I am way too fucking slow. Where to from here? Oh, no, patch. Let me in. Let me in. Yo -ho. Yo -ho -ho. I cannot see shit besides the fucking wall next to me. Oh. Uh, can I like... No, I guess just... I remember seeing a screenshot. I remember seeing a screen grab from the game.
Yep. Hey, yeah, I... Ow, that blew out my fucking eardrums. Yeah, I remember seeing a screenshot on the Steam store of there being a giant worm. It probably operates in the same way as the Tremors worm does, where it goes off of movement. Maybe going slow? Okay, so I'm there at that dot. That square was the way I came from. If I go around... I can head... That way, pick the right. Even if I die here, I'm still just getting information. Yeah, I was still just getting information, and now that blew my eardrums out again. But yeah, I just have to keep moving. I don't think that being slow or not moving is any good. No! I need free batteries? Okay. I guess I just have to learn the location of the batteries then. There's one. I got this. I'm fine. Okay, so I can get batteries from those machines as well. So I can probably get three really early on, I think. I have no idea where that guy actually is half the time. And this game is so fucking dark as well. Well, down here it's dark. Okay, I can outrun it. I know I can outrun it. Stick to the right side, stick to the right side. Put the batteries. One, two, three. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. It's not attracting the thing so is it? You know, it doesn't help that I got the wind I got light right on the screen from my window. Well, it's not coming right through, but like would have been nice to have the extra bit of darkness in this room. Should have thought of that. You know, to go towards the only thing that I can fucking see. So far, I have had little to no complaints about this game. Only one... Fuck, don't say I have to run all the way there. Yeah, only complaint I've had is sometimes it's too bright, sometimes it's too dark, there's really no in-between. I thought I saw the sound moving. Don't do that. No, I'm running. I'm just gonna keep running. 
This is what they want me to do, so this is what I'm gonna do. Well, it's picking up stuff and frying it. Oh, okay then. Okay, dig those feet in. Dig them in deep. Bonk. Huh? Oh, they found me. Little bots. The sands have no pity. They see weakness, feel the first signs of it, and brutally crack down on their victims leaving only a flat, sandy surface in their place. Soon, the last deposits of Kelvet will be exhausted, and that is when the people will leave these lifeless deserts forever. But they will stay. They will finally become rightful owners of these lands, the Sands. It's a good thing that I was saying that as I pretty much reached the end there, but I'll reiterate. I have enjoyed this game. It was quite the story to tell of a planet that's dying. I uh, don't know how I felt about that worm segment because it was really, really dark, but then outside at points it was really bright, so I feel like that was meant to be the case, but like visually and thematically I understand that but gameplay wise not a big fan of that especially when you're being chased by something underground you kind of need that ability to see especially finding something that's in gray dark grays and black like those batteries were if you weren't looking you probably would have missed that pipe as well because you had to crouch to pick it up and I would not have considered crouching it the only reason I thought something was up was because I saw a literal seam in the world while looking out the window. But yeah, that was a pretty fun game. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And maybe give it a go yourself. So yeah, see you in the next one.